shuttle piggyback ride put base crews to the test yesterday. With a little more than an hour's notice, Robbins Air Force Base had to serve as a temporary home for the space shuttle Atlantis. We met down here and uh, put our plan into action, which basically entailed having our base operations folks coordinating arrival plan, our transient alert people meeting to park the aircraft. It was a whole base team effort. The last-minute landing proved to be more than a drill when the spacecraft perched itself on the 12,000-foot runway. I feel it was, it was rare. Since Robbins is listed with NASA on a weather contingency plan, it has to be ready no matter how rare a landing might be here. We're eager to provide good support to anyone who comes in here, and I feel that we do. But, of course, when it's your supporting NASA and the space shuttle, we all take a little bit of extra pride in doing that. And NASA took pride in Robbins as well, commending all workers on a job well done. Since the landing and takeoff went without a hitch, base crews say they feel confident they can handle any future emergency landings. Now workers say they feel relieved knowing NASA can count on them if they're ever needed again. Chris Holcomb, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.